but we begin at the county ground where Swindon Town went into their clash with Blackpool looking to build on their four-match unbeaten run. Boss Andy King made only one change in the side which drew 2-2 at Bournemouth, giving England under-21 international goalkeeper Rhys Evans his league debut, with Bart Grimming dropping to the bench. Blackpool and former town boss Steve McMahon had to make one enforced change. Simon Grayson came in at right back for the suspended Neil Dans, and the boss's son Stephen was on the on the action in the first half with commentator Tony Colliver. One ball hoofed upfield there, but the Swindon defence clears well. Swindon started uh, fairly well this season, I'm sure. Andy King fairly pleased with the way things have gone so far. What can come of this move? The cross comes in, it could be a goal, it is! Superb cross in from the left-hand side. Swindon 1, Blackpool 0. Cross came in from the left, and there was that man Tommy Mooney, now five in five matches for him. Blackpool on the offensive. Cross into the Swindon defence. Gurney clears it into touch. Going to the visitors. Looks like it'll be Mike Flynn with the throw. Good at long throws this man. Far deep into the penalty area. Ball bounces loose. Could be a goal for the visitors, it is. Jonathan Douglas is the man who's got the final touch. That's the equaliser. It was mayhem in the Swindon defence, and Douglas neatly slotted home for his second goal of the season. Ivash tries to feed Mooney. The shot comes in, and it's uh, narrowly past the Blackpool goal. Great chance that was. Also under the Mooney trying to make it six in five games. Right footed ball into the middle. Finds Mooney, went down there. I don't think that was a penalty at all, but uh, a good move again by Swindon, showing their tough tackling midfield attributes. But it's the visitors on the offensive here and the chance coming in there. Perhaps Sharon looking in turn for time. Scored! Swindon one, Blackpool two. Great move that was. The ball through from Chiron into Taylor, and that's his sixth strike of the season. Hayward with the throw. Hewlett cross comes in, finds Mooney, and the shot comes. Well saved there by Lee Jones diving to his right. Goes out for a corner. Well, good work by Mooney laying the ball off. And the shot came in from just outside the box, but good work by the keeper. Sammy Igo with the corner, in swinging towards the far post, and they clear. This is a bit unkindly for the Blackpool defence. Swindon again, try to make headway with Hayward, bounces off the defender. Hilton tries to clear, not very well though, and Swindon. Still home on the offensive. Robinson looking for openings. Man on the overlap if he can find him. Good possession play here by the home side. Cross comes in. Head up from Mooney. It's there. That's the equaliser. Six goals in five games. What a strike rate. Blackpool looking very dangerous on the break, and I'm sure Andy King not happy with his defenders. Shot coming in there from Taylor, just wide. Taylor, the live wire, and the man that the home side have got to try to control if they don't want to be conceding more goals, but great move there by Tommy Mooney, and he sets Swindon away here, unless the defender there, Mike Flynn can beat him, he can, and in the end, Lee Jones did well to avert the danger. 
free kick from enemy territory as far as Swindon are concerned and the ball bounces on the edge of the area and the man again they've got to watch uh, here could be the number seven there Wellens who blazed over crossed into the box there by Vivash and causes some problems for the visiting defence fans certainly chanting the top scorer Tommy Mooney to get on the score sheet again he's on a brace Duke there and it could be a penalty it is well a blatant foul there and the referee have no hesitation in pointing to the spot the Blackpool players don't seem to be complaining at all and a chance now for the home side to take the lead Tommy Mooney's got two I think it'll be Parkin yeah, Sammy Parkin will be the man to take the penalty. He scored three goals this season so far. Andy King said uh, they've got the best partnership in the second division. Will Sam Parkin make it his fourth strike of the season? We'll have to wait and see. Left footed. Oh, and the keeper saved it. Lee Jones did very well indeed, diving to his left hand side. He seemed to take his time, did Parkin with a penalty. And uh, Lee Jones seemed to have all the time in the world to make the save. Well, in the 201 games that Steve McMahon managed Swindon Town, they managed to win 74, draw 48 and lose 79 of them. And uh, he's been at Blackpool nearly the same length of time, 197 games. He's won slightly more games there, 78 games, drawn 45 and lost 74. So he's uh, reasonably pleased with the way things are going at the moment. Side uh, drawing 2-2. Cross comes in though from this free well saved there by Lee Jones Parkin got up well headed close to the uh, Lee Jones in fact too close to him and the chance really went away and uh, Bullock making some headway all on his own tries to beat the keeper and so nearly does and out for a corner but he seemed to take the defence on all by himself, whilst the swing of the defence seemed to be like statues. It's nice to keep the, uh, the tally ticking over, uh, but we are slightly disappointed today. We've not come away with the three points. You know, I think we've played very, very well in the first 45 minutes. In the second half, we perhaps let ourselves down a little bit. We, we sort of changed our style of play to match theirs, really, and, and we're, we're a better side than they are, so we're disappointed. When the penalty came along, that seemed to be a bit of a turning point. Was there any thoughts in your mind of maybe taking it yourself? We spoke at our time. Sam's a penalty taker. You know, if we'd been 2-0 um, up, then I would have taken it, obviously, to go for the hat-trick. Uh, but I think in those uh, situations, you have to be professional. And if Sam's going to take the penalty, if it was 0-0, you know, he's, he's got to take it um, at that stage in the game. The stats show a fairly even game and possibly a fair result after Swindon's disappointing second half. And here's a rarity, Swindon committed more fouls than a Steve McMahon-managed team. Wonders never cease.